For perfect corn on the cob, first make sure that whatever pan you choose is going to fit the corn. You'd be surprised how small pans are. Secondly, for perfect corn on the cob, fill your pot with water first and bring it to a boil. Do not put the corn in before the water boils. And while the water's heating up, you can shuck the corn. I like to do it in the sink and get all the little pieces off um, and clean off the corn from all the little corn silks. Then once the water's boiling, you put it in the water and you boil it for only six minutes. After six minutes, take it right out. Be very careful, it's very hot. I sometimes let it sit on a kitchen towel for just a few seconds to get that last bit of water off. I like just a little bit of butter on mine, well, or sometimes a lot, and some salt. This method makes sure that your corn does not get waterlogged. If you put the corn into the water before it boils, or you boil it for longer than six minutes, you're going to have corn that is waterlogged, and nobody wants that, so this is perfect corn on the cob. mess in my kitchen and I just realized I'm making crusty potatoes and I've never done a video of it. This is one of my favorite potato recipes. It's really easy.